Today I'm going to take you through the new center host feature in Crodos Studio. I'm going to use the studio version of DaVinci Resolve today and I'm going to use Crodos Studio to design a custom sound effect to this section of a clip that I've got and I'll use that feature to synchronize those effects that I'm designing and get them exactly in sync to where I've left my playhead for a super fast workflow. First thing we're going to check is my settings here under preferences general. I need to check that external scripting is set to local and not to none. That should make sure the feature is working as expected. I've created a series of audio tracks for my sound effects. Now let's look at the gunshot. In my scene here, we've got a shot about here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna track back and I'm gonna find the exact frame where this gunshot is needed. Perfect, that's exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna jump to Crodo Studio now and I'm gonna use the pistol preset here to design this sound effect. So by clicking in different places in the UI, I get a different version, a different instance of that sound effect. Kind of like it about here. I'm going to wait for this recording to finish and I'm just going to customize it a little more. I want that to be a bit more powerful and a little bit lower in pitch. Let's try one more time. Cool. So once that recording is finished, I'm going to send it over to the host. So I'm going to check that Resolve is my host and I'm going to click send to host. Now that is going to appear on the gunshot track that I set up at the exact frame where I wanted it. They would find that perfectly in sync where the gunshot was occurring. The next thing that's happening is our text is appearing on our trailer reveal here. So I would like a kind of atmospheric type cinematic effect for that. So I'm going to go to my cinematic category and load a preset. So I'm going to just explore this now. I quite like this lower area. I think that's going to fit really nicely. Just in that lower section. Great. I think that's going to work really nicely. So I wait for that recording to finish. When it has finished, I'm just going to click send to host. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the correct track. So I've gone to my drone track that I've created earlier. I'm going to pull that playhead back to exactly where I want it to begin, which is probably about there just before the text arrives. So go back, send to host, and now we'll see that that sound has appeared exactly where I want it to, be to begin. Fantastic. So the next thing we're going to do, just as, uh, just as the text finishes, I'm going to try and introduce a little glitch effect just to punctuate that, to highlight it. So I'm going to go to another track I've called Glitch, and I'm going to jump back to Crota Studio. I'm going to load a preset here, and I'm going to... I quite like that sound. So let's try that in the edit. Position the playhead exactly where I want it, so the exact frame where the text disappears. So it's going to be perfectly in sync. Remember that little effect that I just did? That's going to be held inside there, so it's ready to go. Hit send to host. And there it is, right exactly where I want it. Come, let's see all those things together. The great thing about this workflow is that we can use Crodo Studio as our sketch pad, experiment with different effects, get the exact right thing we want. And as soon as we've got it, we can position the playhead exactly where we want it. One button, bingo, and it's exactly where we need it.